Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. For today, we're doing a pretty extensive Ulta haul. Let's jump into it. We're gonna start off with the Frank Body Charcoal uh, charcoal body scrub and mask. I honestly didn't even realize that this was a mask. I just saw a body scrub. It was literally three dollars instead of like twenty something. Um, and I will say this is really really small. I don't even think that it's. I haven't even opened it. You guys have had it for a few weeks. It's just that I'm working on other body scrubs that I didn't want to open it. Um, but yeah, let's see what it smells like. I mean, charcoal doesn't really have a scent. Um, oh, it's even smaller than I expected. I'm glad I only paid three dollars instead of the 20 something dollars I've used plenty of Frank body scrubs before I enjoy them um, I think they're really good, but they are a little bit on the pricey side So if I can snag some of them on sale, I always do and I go through body scrubs you guys I exfoliate a lot then I also decided to go with the kitsch extra large exfoliating body cloth again exfoliation is something that i do often because of my kp i think i've gotten it to a place to where it's not that bad now but i really like kitsch everything that i have by them um i've enjoyed their pillowcases which i also got some now um i have some hair clips um some little scrunchies i really like the brand overall so i thought that this was really cool and i thought that um hold on i just don't want to tear because i have these little things but the cool thing about this is that it actually has a little slot right in here for your bar soap i thought that was pretty freaking neat then sticking with the brand kitsch i did pick up this two set of their satin pillowcases this was literally on major sell you guys kitsch is pricey um i think for like one pillowcase is down near like 30 30 bucks i think i'm pretty sure this was on sale for less than 15 dollars probably like 12 or 13 for two and i'm pretty excited you guys like i've been really trying to take care of my hair uh, more it's grown a little bit since i cut it right before new year like it was a little bit shorter so it's growing you guys but yeah these feel super high quality i'm excited to try them again pink isn't one of my favorite colors but i was just looking for like a quality satin pillowcase so equal to is one that i got isn't bad but you can just tell the difference like right off the bat with like the quality of the satin definitely not the same so well worth the 12 dollars would definitely not pay the 30 bucks for one so i'm glad i got two for that price then i also um i've mentioned to you guys before that i have super wrinkly under eyes and not only that but they're super freaking dry so i'm on a mission to hydrate my under eye as much as possible I'm also on a mission for a good eye cream. So if you have any recommendations, please let your girl know I need them. So I picked up these um, Patchology Rejuvenating, Rejuvenating? Why did I feel like I said that wrong? Rejuvenating um, Eye Gels. Really excited about this. I think this was like seven bucks for five, which isn't bad, but they had really good reviews. So I'm intrigued by that. I've been really trying to roll my face every night and every morning. Well, like during my skincare and I've been really on it so I noticed them a little bit less puffy but I feel like I just need a lot more hydration so on it I also picked up this skin Iceland like facelift in a bag so this comes with two forehead face masks which I've never tried like a specific face mask targeted for my forehead the smile lines I have really deep smile lines and my foundation always creases and kicks up and separates right there so I thought that it was really cool so it comes with a couple of all three of those so three under eye patches three forehead face masks and then three of the smile line ones this i think was like half off i'm sure so they had really good reviews as well i've been wanting to try the brand so i picked up the nyx blur the bear with me blur foundation i got two shades um i really wish that there was a shade in between these uh but i got vanilla and soft beige so I think this is five and six. I wish there was something like 5.5 or something like that, or even six, because this is six point, yeah, five and six. So if it was like 5.5, I think it would have been perfect. I did mix both of these together. I wore it on my face. I wore it last week a couple times as well. And it is pretty matte, you guys. I had to hydrate my skin beforehand and it still looks pretty dry now. Um, I've been wearing it for a couple hours. But throughout the day with like my natural oils and I sweat really easily, like my forehead especially and my nose, that definitely helps it look a little bit more natural. Um, 
for the winter i wouldn't wear it but now spring going into summer i would recommend it um coming from like a dry skin girl i think it can make it work i paired it with the nyx the marshmallow primer um and i really like the combination like it doesn't look weird i'm just i feel like my skin is just a little extra dry so if i decide to wear it i would go an extra step maybe doing like a hydrating mask beforehand really make sure that my skin is nice and plump i am also wearing the revolution in real life filter um irl concealer in the shade c5 i really like this surprisingly i'm not a big fan of revolution but also look at the little like i think it's so freaking cute um i like the shade i'm surprised that i got it a really decent shade i'm wearing that i wore it a few days ago too last week and i was pleasantly surprised by that i also picked up the elf um eye color corrector i'm not wearing it today but I did wear it last week and I was pleasantly surprised by it. I used to color correct every single time I did my makeup. I have really dark circles like around my eyes and eyelids. Um, so I used to do it religiously and then I stopped. Um, so this really reminded me why I used to always color correct. I used to always use a little peachy one like this or a yellow one. I didn't pick up the yellow one just because I really wanted to try out the formula. Um, but I think I'll be good with that one for now. Really, really pleasantly surprised with the e.l.f. color corrector. And then I also picked up a new product here by Elf, not Elf, sorry, Wet n Wild. This is a Lock and Shine Lip Color and Gloss. Total fail, you guys. This is going back. I don't care if it was five bucks, three bucks, two bucks. It's going back. I'm getting my money because this freaking sucks. The shade is horrible. Online, I really thought I was getting like a nice brown nude shade. Um, I, I just don't like it. And it's super dry and crepey. And I not my vibe i mean maybe i have super dry lips which might be the case um but i just don't like it my it's going back like i literally stuck the little barcode back on here because i don't want it so it's going back for sure i am also wearing the new essence pure nude blush this you guys i was kind of disappointed like in the description this said that it was going to be orange it's not i still like it um, again, this is pretty peachy. I don't even think this pulls any kind of peachy, maybe like a peachy sheen. You can see it on my cheeks now. Barely there, but um, you can definitely build it up. I just didn't feel like going heavy on the blush today. Um, but it's okay. I just wish that the descriptions were a little bit better on Ulta because I was definitely hoping for like a pretty orangey peachy blush instead of this pinky one still pretty would still recommend you checking it out uh the pure nude line from essence is one of my favorites that i wish the colors were a little bit better maybe like a terracotta or i don't know just like an actual nude color I don't, maybe that's just me you guys um i also picked up a backup of my little tart shape tape in the ultra creamy one this was a set that was on sale for literally like 12 bucks so i just picked it up it comes with a little mini matte eater which i'm probably gonna gift and then another one of the maracuja juicy lip balms i'm gonna gift it but the ultra creamy um concealer has become one of my favorites i've tried uh the shape tip before and i didn't like it at all of course it's super freaking drying but the creamy one is really really good and i really enjoy it you guys i'm so excited to have it back in my collection i went through a tiny like little sample one and so instead of buying the big one i decided to go with the little mini because the little sample one lasts a really long time so i know i'll be good for a while then i also picked up quite a bit of lip products here we're just gonna show all of them all at once i picked up the nyx this is milky gloss i let you guys know in the past that i've been dying to get this shade and i am not disappointed um it is just so beautiful this is the milk the coco the coco i said the coco milk the coco and it's just such a beautiful brown you guys know right up my alley i love these i love the shade milk and honey i also have milk and cookies i believe it's called but that one is really more of like a true beautiful sheer brown that just like i think elevates any like nude lip this is uh nick cinnamon roll shout out to makeup obsessed mommy nicole she's so sweet you guys i will leave her channel link down below i love her content she's just so genuine and i just like enjoy watching her so shout out to her she raves about cinnamon roll and i finally got my hands on it and i will say not disappointed at all i feel like it looks beautiful on her and beautiful on me so i feel like it flatters different skin tones and i love it i freaking love it and you guys can see the difference there with like 
both of the glosses one's definitely lighter but still in the brown nudish category which is what your girl loves then i also picked up the essence extreme care hydrating glossy lip balm this is new as well this is definitely more nudie cool tone for sure this reminds me of that other nyx lip gloss that i have um in milk and cookies actually let me see if i can reach it Ugh, yeah it reminds me of this let me swatch it y'all did i just discover a dupe bro that's literally almost identical this is milk and cookies right here and then this is the essence they literally look identical that's freaking crazy yeah the next one milk and cookies and this, this is in the shade i think it's the only nude one in the line but i don't see a shade name oh that i think it's called coba coba it's really pretty but if i would have known that it was going to be identical to the next one i would have never picked it up then i also picked up two of the elf uh satin lip sticks here it's getting hot in here i don't know if it's me but it's pretty warm in here y'all the sun's coming out we've had a couple of really cold days here in texas like cold to where like it froze people lost their power not necessarily here where i live but definitely like up north austin and things like that and it's just like dude this happened in 2021 why didn't you guys figure it out like clearly the power grid can't stand the weather and i know that it's not normal for like here in texas but like get it together like there's no reason why people should be going like 24 to 48 to some even 72 hours without power come on texas anyway i picked up two of the satin lip colors um i got the shade hustle and the shade no doubt i'm wearing no doubt on my lips and i was pleasantly surprised i knew that it was going to pull a little bit more pink um but i didn't know that i was going to like it as much as i do i paired it with the lip liner that i'm going to share with you guys in a little bit but the shade hustle literally calls my name you guys i almost wore this but i'm wearing pink eyeshadow and i know that it wasn't going to look right so i didn't go with it but this is definitely like a more orangey kind of like well a yellow kind of orange shade um there's definitely some yellow in there so yeah the shade hustle really really pretty both nudes but definitely like different kinds of nudes then um more lip products of course anastasia had this little three-piece mini lip kit uh well lenny lenny mini lip liner kit um with three shades so it comes with cherry sandstorm which i've been wanting to get and also chai i'm wearing chai on my lips and i will say that this pulls a little bit more red than what i anticipated um in the swatch you won't be able to see it but on my lips well you might be able to you see how it pulls a little bit more of like a red brown um but i still like it nonetheless and sandalwood of course such a beautiful color and then cherry i think cherry i'll probably wear I'm gonna try to wear red lip this year you guys red lip is not like my number one lip color but this lip like lip liner i love the formula so i might just try like a red lip stay tuned who knows maybe i'll do it in the video maybe i'll just wear it here at home and go to like target for like a quick little run and then just come back right away because i'm so nervous to wear red lips um i also decided to pick up the milani glow um hydrating skin tint in the shade light medium um this looks a little dark but i feel like it's a tint it can be like it goes pretty sheer so i think i'll be fine light medium um people really like this so i'm a big fan of tinted um hydrating skin tint so excited to try that then lastly i picked up a couple nail polishes and i don't know it might just be me you guys but both of these chips like i i wore i wore this last week and then i was wearing this one right before the video but it chipped disgustingly that I just took it off. And so I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm not prepping my nails right. Maybe I'm just not using the right top coat. But nail polish never lasts on my like nails. Let me know if you have any tips with um, how to apply nail polish. I don't even know if that's a thing. But this is the China Glaze in the shade uh, Tangerine Heat, which I love this color. And then this is the um, Sally Hansen Miracle Gel in the shade why did they make this so tiny sun oh it's on top the sun shower so i really like these colors especially for like spring and summer my type of color more products uh well this is from amazon i was debating on uh including purchases from amazon but i think i'm just gonna sneak them in at the end because why not um but uh let's see oh yeah i bought the elf 
velvet um, primer. I'm literally losing my train of thought, you guys. It's kind of warm in here, like really, really warm. And I can't think when it's warm, Ugh, especially this Texas heat is no joke. But anyway, this, I really enjoyed it. It is very like silicone-like and it really reminded me of like, if you've ever used Maybelline Baby Skin, it's giving that, it's giving that, but like a little bit better. Um, I don't even know if it's silicone free. I'll have to look into that. But so far, so good. I wore it under the next foundation the couple times that I wore it last week. And it did a really good job at like smoothing my skin. But um, the scent smells like coconuts. I don't know if coconut, I know I, I think I read like papaya or something like that. I might be wrong, y'all. I'm literally, I'm telling you, the minute I get hot, it's like my brain shuts down. Um, I could smell it even when I was putting on my foundation. I typically let my primer sit for a little bit, but I could still smell it. So if you're big on scents, oh, I mean, if you don't like scents, um, I wouldn't recommend. I have it. Um, it does kind of bother me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. But overall, I like the way like my foundation laid on it. Um, yeah, just the smell. Now that I'm smelling it again, I don't know. I wish I could. I don't know why scents need to be in things. Like I get lip products, but like face products for what you know but yeah anyway last product uh, from Ulta I got this LA girl dream glitter um, this is an eye topper and I don't know why I was just feeling the green color and so I picked it up I think it's stunning green is actually one of my favorite eyeshadows to wear I don't do it often but when I do I always I'm like I really like greens I love olive greens I love like deep emerald greens I just get a little bit scared when it comes to like colors like that but I love it and it's just so freaking pretty. I can't wait to try it, but that is it, you guys. Should I include the old, the Amazon order? Um, yeah, I guess I picked up a couple things. I picked up some equal tool brushes that I already own, but I just wanted backups because I love them so much. That's this set right here. You guys, this brush right here, top tier. Don't buy them on Ulta though. Buy them on um, Amazon. They were literally like 10 bucks. I think Ulta has them for like $16.99, so no thank you. Go to Amazon. Um, highly, highly recommend this. Then I decided to try the Plush Powder Brush. I haven't used this before. I um, haven't used this before. I haven't used this yet. So um, I'm pretty excited. So far, the quality in this um, is freaking top tier. I picked up two of the viral Revlon lip uh, sticks. I actually already have one, like, for weeks and I didn't even realize it um I got it for my stepmom where is it this one right here I think it's toasting glasses I've used quite a bit of it because I actually really really like it I guess I can show you guys all three swatch so I have toasting glasses which is the one I've had for a few weeks and then I picked up uh oh no sorry this is not toasting glasses um oh I had the wrong one stored so toasting glasses is the one I've had you can see here that I've used it um, then I picked up Sparkling Honey. Apparently, I had them put away wrong. And then um, I just recently picked up Chocolate Luster. So, really, really, really freaking pretty. That's what those look like there. So, it's uh, Sparkling Honey, Toasting Glasses, and Chocolate Luster. Really, really, really recommend this. Revlon is definitely a brand that I think we all sleep on. But they have really, really, really good products. So, you see, I have this primer. They came in like a little glass bottle um, that I used to love and then they discontinued it and then they put it in like a white packaging. I think it has a pink cap. I really recommend that primer. Um, I want to try their like finishing powder. I want to try their new foundation, but it's just going to have to wait. Um, but yeah, I think that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for sticking around in this uh, long ass video. If you like this kind of video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you in my next one. Bye.